How's it going guys, Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and today is the Doctor Who finale, Empire of Death. Now you might be thinking, Dan, you're not watching this at midnight, it's uh, quite literally blinding sun outside, I don't know why it's so um, <laughs> unfocused in of a window, but anyway, um, uh, yeah that's because I was out last night, I didn't really get back in until half past twelve and I thought I'd rather, you know, be able to properly enjoy it and stuff so um yeah so didn't go on phone i haven't been on anything uh just, just went to wait to bed got up and of uh i'm now watching this so yeah uh pretty excited so um last episode we've obviously got sue tech back which is amazing um i really hope that he's just this nice big bad villain and we get some great sort of battles and stuff between him and the Doctor. Uh, we should also find out who Ruby's mum is, hopefully. Um, still no idea really who it could be. Uh, or the, you know, um, there's, n there's no real evidence for it to be anyone but Susan True Wired. So, I don't know, unless it's a character we're yet to meet, um, and I'm not too sure. Uh, we got Mel, we got Kate. Yeah, uh, quite a good ending to to the last episode so um yeah I'm 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 excited I'm really excited uh cool quite hyped for this episode um just thinking what else we could get uh should maybe be a teaser for cool cool Christmas at the end I think it's cool lost um and yeah um I can't wait anything of much else. Uh, Mrs. Flood as well. Uh, we should hopefully find out more about her. I hope. Um, well, I think that's the one thing that I can see is not finding more out. Because I, I know Anita Dobson is in next series. She's been seen filming. So maybe that's the one plot line that isn't um, concluded. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Uh, hopefully. We'll get a good final to wrap everything up. But yeah, uh, let's get into it. So, without any further ado, roll the titles. Let's <laughs> drill right into it. <laughs> I wouldn't really go so far to call that much of a cool review situation, but. Oh, last time we're going to hear this for ages. This title sequence has really long done me though. Oh, oh it's just like Infinity War with a snap. Well, it's never working, unit. No, not Kate. Well, we know she's back in season two, so big reverse button's gonna happen. There's nothing we can do. I have such plans. I have such pl plans. What does that mean? You see, okay, right, I, I, I'm, I definitely think that her story won't finish this episode. Because one, she's dust. <laughs> and two, um, um, She's in season two. <coughs> Memory TARDIS. Oh, look at it. To be honest, it doesn't look as big as the other sets. Maybe it looks a lot more bigger, more homely. <coughs> Sound is still yes. weak. Yes. More, 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 more. Where's the other side? The time has my memories too. He's telling the story of your life. <laughs> That's sick. 
The look at that. I mean, all the colours. This Todd. This Todd is just Never sick. Okay. Where it takes advantage of all the colours. Susan. The perfect. Susan. I created an apparition of her. In colour. Every time we landed on every single world, I burst them all. So he's been there that long. Angels of death. Well, why wouldn't it have killed the doctor? That's what I don't get. What is it? It's a remember target. Oh, the doctor's coat and cravat. Doctor, we're on fire. Oh, is it just just a fire extinguisher there? Because it casts a field around it at 66.7 meters exactly. 73 yards. Hey? How do you know that? I, I, I don't know, I just do. Funny things happen at 73 yards. People say that you can see things. Sword, Sutek. He used this field, but used it massively. Well, hang on, what's that about, though? Was that a deleted scene from 73 yards? Because that, that wasn't an, actually in the episode. <laughs> wow. Jesus. What a performance. The time lost. No. Greater than him. Greater than him. Ruby. In the hollows of this desolate universe. Who's that? Susan? Oh, it's for Doctor. Oh. Excuse me. I haven't seen them since. It's for our baby. Hush now, darling. Let me give the man his chaffy. Who is a little one? Is that Ruby's mom? I think I called her Brindle. Brindle. But I guess Brindle she'll get D. given a different name if she's left at Ruby World. What is this place called? So what Ruby's... Place? I mean, if it is Ruby's mom, then that I means Ruby's an alien. Care. Then I met my husband. Now she's going to say, could you take my baby, look after her as well, and then they'll realise that it's Ruby. I think my daughter died, didn't she? Oh. And I forgot. Oh, she's fan of his face. Oh, you know what? I was dead set on that baby being Ruby. And I'm like, oh, we've actually got a woman who kind of matches the discord ribbon. The dog's just got to go and leave the baby Sweet. on Ruby World or something, or, you know, or Ruby leaves her there with the hood up and stuff. Bit of a paradox, but it works. I don't know. We met Einstein. Okay. Oh, is it gonna get? Oh no, it's gonna get. No, isn't it? Sutek was hidden for years. One woman, one singular, mysterious woman. No wonder he's keeping us alive. But who is she then? Who is she? But if the gods are scared of them, what the hell does that mean? She's not this big cosmic thing, is she? Because in that case, what am I? Oh, she's got to be. You are absolutely. DNA testing became compulsory for the entire population in the UK. So if your mother was still alive, she'd be on record. She would be on the register. We've never been able to find her because she never got tested. But 24 says she's got no choice. It is showing us the way, Ruby. It's showing us the path to your mother. If I could. But shot how does that connect to our job? Ruby's mother. Yeah, William. What happens if we do? What is the question last time? Is that like a deleted scene from 73 Yards that we just missed? Power. And now we have no explanation for it. Well, I don't remember anything about the DNA testing in 73 
yards. So surely that must have been a team that was caught. Because it just makes no sense. It's got no connection to bring in Roger. For the overthrow of Roger William. We're all getting out of this. Don't worry about me. Find that name. We're not all getting out of this. He's realised. How is she? He's not going to find her. The music. Suta, bring the name to me. Suta, I promise you I will. It's gotta be some kind of god or if you just something. Allow like Child of the Troop Wixter or something like Sky Wars. Maybe this is for you. Hang on, let me put my readers on, Sutek says. Oh. You greatly thought of nothing. We've got him on a lead. Oh. So Jennifer Todd is having a weapon. See that doesn't make sense to me because I'd have thought Sutek would still be put the Tom into the vortex. Wagging a big dog round the vortex, as you do. Is that how it works? I mean, that looks pretty cool. But surely he's just. Yeah, he's tearing the vortex up. Who is she? Who is she? I don't think we're going to find out this episode. Why are them two holding hands? <laughs> oh, nice. See, I've always thought Tardis should have more holical whams. So I'm guessing that's not Ruby. <laughs> Would have, you know, kind of made sense. Because we've still got no idea who we could be. I'm guessing she won't find out. She'll be like, no, actually, I don't want to find out. This will be a case like the Fob Watch. Just gets chucked into the centre of the Tardis and forgotten it's about. All this Vortex stuff looks really cool though. Well. There was no way that would defeat him. Surely, if he's been clung to the TARDIS that long, being in the Vortex is fine for him. I think Unit can use you. Oh. Okay, it's not recruiting people for once. We've done it. DNA retrieval. Oh. So we are going to find out who. Who's she? My mother. Who is she, though? Louise Alison Miller. 35 years old. 15 when she gave birth to you. Records say her stepfather was. Well, he was trouble. She's so ordinary. But mine was Sue Tech. No. no, she's wonderful. <sighs> and she's ordinary, but I love her for that. I just... How did she stay invisible from a god? She defeated Sue Tech. She was important. War, every religion, every love story. What? We invest things with significance. What? That's the most Doctor Who ending ever. A scared little girl. We've gone for the whole series. But and a mum's an NHS worker. She Brilliant. She pointed at you, Doctor. She wasn't pointing at me. She was pointing at the name of the road. She was naming you. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. A load of crap. I was named after a road. Ruby Road. You left me by a church. 19 years ago. No, that wasn't me. That was her over there. You got the wrong table, she says. I just want to say thank you. What about a cappuccino? That guy's just still there. Uh, Ruby, I've got all the customers to serve. Could you come get your cappuccino? So, I hope now that seeing all this entices the doctor to go and find Susan. 
She's not going. She's staying. At least for one episode. Hey, back to the Ruby Road outfit. Saying it back. <laughs> Why is it cool lying? I can go back at any point. Well, it's no win again. But life goes on, doesn't it? <laughs> Ruthlessly. And what happens, you might wonder? Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveller in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. Oh. Night night. <laughs> Doctor Who will return. Enjoy to the world. Oh, I don't even have a name. Is she like Mary Poppins then? <laughs> okay guys, that was um Empire of Death. And <sighs> It was just a bit underwhelming, weren't it? A bit anticlimactic. Um, it, it, I feel like we've just all been, you know, enticed with Ruby's mom, who she is, and stuff like that. Given hints here, like Susan Toolwist was, however old when uh, when Ruby was born. This, that, and other, and it's a random NHS worker. Uh, what? <laughs> um, that, that just makes no sense to me. But, like, what makes even less sense is the fact Sue Tech was scared of her. It's, that, that, that was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um,. You know, um, it does feel like a very cheap cop out. I mean, on paper, the idea that she is just an ordinary woman and stuff like that makes sense and stuff. That isn't a bad idea. But then, when it's put in with all the stuff like the Sue Tech stuff, being scared of her and all stuff like that, setting up as some sort of god, you know, if Sue Tech's scared of her and stuff like that, it just makes no sense to me at all. Um, Sue Tech though, uh, was good, uh, go, wait to see him back, uh, if a bit underused, um, I'm, I, what I don't get is, if he's now been sort of thrown into the vortex, he's sort of just evaporated and dissolved, um, he's, he's not dead, he can't, he can't be dead, because, um, you know, he stayed all that time in the vortex, clinging onto the TARDIS, so, there's no way that uh, that he can be de defeated that way, at least. Um, yeah. Uh, what else? Like all the stuff with a memory TARDIS. That stuff was good. Um, it's nice to see all the old stuff in it. Um, yeah, I'm just I'm just a bit underwhelmed with. Ruby's ending, Mrs. Flood. I kind of like the fact that we've not got an answer to her. Uh, we know she's in season two, so I expected that we wouldn't really get much of an answer as to who she is and stuff. She seems to now be some kind of Mary Poppins type of figure. Uh, I do hope she's in uh, Joy to the Joy to the World, though, because I thought like that would be good to see. Um, and yeah, um, just just a bit underwhelming of an end. Um, this episode and Journey's End have sort of two things in common. Both being quite big finales that have a lot of things to answer and wrapping up your main episode arc too early and then having to deal with everything else. So take Journey's End for example, the whole stuff with Davos, the Daleks, that's your main storyline for that episode. That wraps up a bit too early. That wraps up about halfway-ish maybe just just over and then you've got to spend the rest of the episode sorting uh, the medical wise doctor getting the companions back to where they belong and stuff 
um, weapon doll dismemberate, all stuff, all stuff like that, secondary stuff that you need to finish off. And then this episode is the same, you weapon up the Sutek stuff, over half way in, which is the most interesting part, and then um, you got all, all your other stuff being sorted and stuff, so like Ruby's mom and stuff like that, which makes sense, that needs to be sorted. But it's just the rest of the side's got more satisfying endings than uh, Empire of Death. But, oh well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, <sighs> just feels a bit anti climatic ending, really. Um, just trying to think if there's all else to talk about, really. Um, not really had any teasers for the next episode to uh, really, you know entices in um, but yeah I guess that's where we'll leave it for this series of Doctor Who another year down, another series down <laughs> um, but yeah that is all for this time thank you so much for watching, if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like, a comment tell me what you thought of the episode what your thoughts are about Ruby's mum and everything like that if you were a bit underwhelmed as well um, follow me on Twitter at DanWFA the link is in the description and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.